hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do a get ready with me because I'm going on date night with my husband it's Thursday and we usually go Fridays but he's going out of town tomorrow so we're gonna do an early date night it's kind of important for us for our marriage that we have maintained date nights unless you know somebody's sick or really too tired but mostly every week we try to get that date night in and I think it it helps our marriage because it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, no kids, no talking about work, no staring at a TV. We just have that interaction together. So I like to kind of get my makeup on and get nice, you know, dressed up. And we either go out to a movie or dinner or we go to listen to some live music. So it's fun. I think it helps our marriage and keeps us, you know, that bond, keeps us growing as friends and, you know, having that bond that usually you don't, you kind of grow apart because you're busy each other doing your own thing, busy with life, with kids, etc., etc. So, if you are new here, uh, we do some reviews on makeup, makeup tutorials, things like that. We also have videos in Spanish with Spanish tutorials. So, if you don't want to miss out on anything, trust me, it's good. Uh, go ahead and, and hit that uh, subscribe button and then the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And if you don't want to subscribe, just keep on watching and maybe you'll decide to subscribe. You never know. You never know. So anyway, let's get started. Let's zoom in and get started with our tutorial. I have a lot of new makeup to try out today. All right, we are zoomed in and up close and personal. So to get started, I have been using this oil. It's kind of like, it's called Uniglow from uh, Jolie Beauty and they are a company based out, based out of the UK. And I tried it and then kind of let it go to the wayside because you know, it was the summer and I didn't want to look like a disco ball, you know, all shiny. And of course, because when you sweat, you go to concerts, things like that. So I really didn't notice it. But this, uh, for some reason, this fall, the winter, has been really hard on me. And I keep repeating it with my eczema. As you can see, I'm still kind of itchy. But uh, with the use of humidifiers and, you know, all sorts of good creams, it's getting a lot better, but I've, I've heard a lot of people report that, you know, that their issues have been worse. Rosacea, psoriasis, all that. So I don't know what's in the air. Or uh, maybe it's, you know, I don't know. It's it's in the stars or something. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, anyway, so I need some th something that will give me hydration. When my skin is so dry, my makeup literally won't stick to my face. It'll kind of not penetrate. It'll kind of sit on top and it crack and you know um just break down really easy because i have flaking and so yeah it's not fun so anyway this product the other day i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a try i saw it again on um i think it was an ad on instagram or something like that and i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a try again and maybe it'll help right now during this winter season that i'm having that i'm struggling with so with my skin being so so dry so i'm gonna apply a little bit of that and i ended up ordering some more because they even have like a subscription service so if you're interested definitely try that out if you have like me dry skin i'm telling you it's helped me well most of all it's helped my foundation application so much i've been really really pleasantly surprised by it so a little bit on the forehead even if you put it like in your t-zone it won't it won't be greasy well that's if you have very dry skin if you don't then maybe you might not want to go you know in the area the t-zone which is usually the most you know the the place where we have the most oily um where we have the most oily situation going on so all right so i put that on and for so let's i'm going to start with the eyeshadow and then we'll do our foundation at the end so that way the product soaks in and gets nice and ready for our foundation so for eyeshadow i got the new i'm so excited about this the new tati beauty uh eyeshadow palette it's uh, not, it looks like this it's nice and heavy um, I know everybody's been talking about it and review it, so I'm kind of late to the party, but that's okay. I've been saving it for a special occasion, and I think tonight will be perfect. Um, 
let's see, comes in this sleeve. I'm trying to take it out of the sleeve to show you guys. And this is kind of what it looks like. It has like a suede top. The only thing I kind of would not like is that it, you know, you the suede or this type of material attracts, you can see it already with the oil, attracts like fingerprints and stuff like that. Powders probably stick to it really easily, but it's not a big deal in a way because, I mean, as long as the formula is good and they apply nicely, um, who cares about what the outside looks like, right? So it's got this big mirror. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flash you, but it's got this big mirror which you can turn like so. You know, you can actually, eventually she says you can um, flatten it so that it's nice and sits nice and flat on your, you know, on your uh, dresser. And this is what the colors look like. Now she has, and I'm going to insert some swatches so you can see them up close. The way she designed how the eyeshadows go is that she ha you have the row of mattes and then you have the row of what she calls sequin, which is kind of like a shiver. No, yeah, this it's this kind of like a shimmer. It's got a very slight little glitter. And then it has a row of metallics and then you have your glitter. Of course, uh, the glitter, as they say, you know, it's not safe for your eyes. So if you do, it's at your own risk. But I think there should be a warning on here. I don't know if they still have it. Uh, it says it's cruelty free vegan distributed by Tati Beauty and it's got glitter metallic sequin matte, but it doesn't say anything about uh, It should say somewhere. Well, some of them do they say that you know You, you shouldn't use the glitters not for safe for eye eyelid use But we still do it and especially if you have if you're worried about it Just use some glitter glue if you really want to use that on your eye, but Honestly, I think that, uh, at least for me, for my age, I'm in my late 40s, I don't really use a lot of glitter. I like it, and I'm glad that it's in the palette because you never know. You might have a fancy special event to go to. But other than that, the glitters kind of probably won't go used very much. Or maybe I'll use them on somebody else. I don't know if I do somebody else's makeup. Anyway, so before we get into, dip into this palette, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Soft Ochre, uh, it's Pro Longwear Paint Pot, which is this. I need to go get a new one. Oh, I'm gonna throw away the plastic too. Otherwise, I hate those plastics. I mean, it's nice because it protects your eyeshadow, but at the same time, it's annoying. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started with a little kabuki brush that I got from JC Cosmetics and kind of like to dip that in and put it all over the eye just kind of to give myself a, a blank canvas to work with and cancels out any veins or like for me any dry skin things like that so I'm gonna apply that on my other eye so both eyes are primed I am so excited to try this palette out I've been watching Tati for a long time to launch her own line her you know, her, I've been so happy for her to launch her whole, no, <gasps> I've been happy for her to launch her, 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 time. <laughs> I've been happy for her, to, I've been happy for, for her to launch her, why can't I talk? What the fuck? <laughs> I've been happy for her to launch her own line. <clears throat> I can't talk. I've been happy for her to launch her own line and it's finally come to fruition and I saw the launch party. It was super cool. She invited a ton of her followers, which I think is so cool. And also it says volume one. So I know there's going to be a lot more coming. She, I think she has hinted on releasing something for Black Friday. It's about to be Black Friday for you. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, I don't know, whenever you see this, it'll be, you already have seen what she launched. <laughs> so to get started, I applied the, um, the base, but now I'm going to, I kind of want to set it a little bit. I'm going to go into Aura and I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the mirror that she has on here. Whoa, this is a big mirror and kind of put a nice light layer and brighten up a little more the eye. All right, so I set that, I set the base, and then it's all about the base. 
and then I'm going to start with a transition color for transition I'm going to go into soothe pretty sure it says soothe the thing is that the, the writing is all like handwriting and it's like what I need my glasses <laughs> so to start off I'm going to use kind of this is a double ended brush one side is angled and I got this where did I get these brushes from these are from oh yeah uh, it's called a la color I'm pretty sure that's what it says it's like a new it's an indie brand and I found these brushes they kind of look really nice so I wanted to give them a try and I like the double side the only bad thing about those sided is if you put them up like that you'll squish one side so they always have to lay flat but it's good to take uh, I think they're good for taking to travel because then you uh, have less brushes and you have you know a big variety so that that's why I like those and I'm, I'm eventually going to use them for travel whenever I go on vacation <laughs> all right so let's start with soothe and I'm going to take a little bit and kind of start placing it where I want to have the transition so right now right now I'm just I'm just placing it where I want it I'm not worrying about blending all right so now that I have Put it down now I'm going to go in and blend it out and I'm going to take this other this is a Sigma E25 blending brush it's a nice little white one and I'm just going to start blending it out and I like these because they are soft but a little bit stiff at the same time so you can really blend out those edges all right so we have placed that in there and it's, I like the way I like the way I was able to really kind of blend it out. They're very soft and easy to blend. So, so far, I'm, you know, I'm pretty impressed. If they do have good pigmentation. You don't have to struggle to build that color. So, good job, Tati, good job. So now I'm gonna go in with Poet and kind of bring that a little bit lower and not so into the, in not so close to the inside of my eyelid. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, I think I'm going to use this one, and again it's another one from Double Sided. Now I'll link uh, the brand name down, you know, down below in the comments. So again, I'm going to put it right here closer to the crease. So you can see it is really strong I just put it took me about two you know dipping into the eyeshadow and really packed a punch so I like that very very easy to blend and work with so now I'm going to now I'm going to blend that out with the edges I'm taking that same brush that I used for soothe and blending the edges out And I'm going really high up in the crease, you know, high up on the lid, of course, because I have the hooded eye and I really want that, when I open my eye, to have that color really show show up. But see, if you look at the brush, the um, Poet really transferred on there. So like I said, it really has really good pigmentation. So start off with just a little bit and then keep going from there. So I have the uh, Soothe up here, and then we've got Poet, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer, just a tiny bit, tiny bit of concealer. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one from MAC. It's the Pro Long Wear Concealer, and I have the color NC30. So I just put a little dab on the back of my hand, and I've got this tip from Ann Nook. If you know her, she's amazing with eyeshadow. That girl can blend like nobody's business. So I'm gonna take this cut crease brush from Sigma, and this one is the E62. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on here, and kind of, I'm not gonna do like a very fancy cut crease, but I do wanna clear out this space right here. So that my shimmer really pops like that so 
then I'm gonna I'm gonna take this brush it's the Sigma E22 it's also a detail blending brush but I think it'll be nice to apply this one to apply aura to the eyelid just like so and then I'm going to take I think I want to take ritual in the metals which is a copper. I'm gonna wet my brush with some setting spray. So on the outside, I'm going to apply a little bit of the metallic pout. Right there, right here, the outer, outer third of my eye. It is such a pretty, pretty metallic color. I don't know if you can see. And then I'm going to take Soothe. No, yeah, I think I'm gonna try Soothe and see what happens. Let's see. I wanna be able to use as many colors as I can. And then I'm gonna kind of blend those two together. It's so pretty, it's really, really, really metallic. I don't know if you can see, but that is so pretty how they blend seamlessly together and it's like one goes in, one color just fades into the other. Okay, and I'm gonna take this small little blending brush for the outside and I'm gonna go into, I think I'm gonna go into Ritual, which is a dark, the dark brown. And kind of put that right here. Just kind of give it some dimension. I'm dipping into the, I'm gonna go dip into the, well, this one is the sequin, which is kind of a little, ooh, they are part of powdery, which is, it has a little bit of shimmers in there. Wow, that is so pretty. These are so pretty. She did a really good job. Go Tati. Again, I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. No, before I do that, let me get into my blending brush. Take the blending brush again and kind of go back into Poet to blend out, um, what's the other color? Ritual. I'm gonna take Poet to blend out Ritual, just like so. I'm not putting a lot of product. Basically, I'm just blending those two together, just like that. Then I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush with no product on and just kind of make sure everything's nice and blended out. And there we go nice and blend it out so you think I'm gonna leave this don't worry it's not gonna be this crazy that's why I started my eyes before I put on foundation and I did my eyebrows so that I could see how far I wanted the color to go so of course this is more of a nighttime look it's nighttime right now we're gonna go out to a late dinner so for daytime I'll do another one um, this palette I think I'm gonna be using it a lot because it is so pretty and you can go from day to night easily with it and then before I move on to the other, I'm gonna take a little pencil brush to the other eye. I'm gonna take a pencil brush, go into Aura, and kind of give myself a little bit of highlight up here in the brow bowl. I'm gonna try the shimmer one. I think it'll look pretty, I mean the sequin. I don't want it to be too shiny. There we go, we've got a little bit of highlight on the brow bone. I'm gonna go do my other eye and I'll be right back. All right, now we have both eyes done. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up the edges. Like so, see if I can make a nice clean cut. Like that. See, easy. You don't need to apply any tape. All right, now we have both eyes done. So now I'm gonna go in and apply the foundation for, before the foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Veil. I'm gonna, I have a lot of products, new products to try, but yeah, I don't think I tried this one in my last video. If I did, I apologize. But this one is the Hourglass um, Veil Primer. And I got the little one because I wanted to try. Yeah, I think I already tried this one in, in my previous video, but we're gonna use it again to apply it over the 
oil, which is nice. Just like so. And like that. And then I'm gonna go in and use the Jouer. Uh, this one is the Essential High Coverage which I need right now because I'm, I don't know what I'm growing over here. <laughs> you would think that after your, after 40, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't qualify for pimples, but I guess, I don't know. It could be hormonal acne. So for the UA Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. It's a little bit runny, but I tried it in a sample and I really, really liked it. So let's try it again. See if I still like it. I ended up buying the whole bottle. And it does have very high co coverage, as you can see. It, re it really, a little bit goes a long way. Even though it's runny, it really, all it takes is just a little dollop. Go into, my, make sure I'm into my, uh, to my hairline so it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask. And especially since this is a matte formula, if you don't have, if you have dry skin, it is going to grab onto those dry patches. So you definitely want to use, you want to hydrate first before you apply it. If you like to have that matte coverage or if you get oily throughout the day, but have at the same time some dry patches like me, uh, you definitely want to have first moisturize or have like I did that oil to hydrate. But as you can see, it's super, Super high coverage. I usually go ahead and spot cut seal here and I didn't even need to because it covered it up pretty much. So we don't want to at least erase everything. I mean, I'm not that kind that wants to have like, like the pancake face, but I do like a nice high coverage to hide my hyperpigmentation. But this did a really good job, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna try it out for the night and see how it works as far as longevity and I will let you guys know. For the concealer, I'm gonna have I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Bare Skin, and I've got the color medium, and it is um, a new one that I've never tried the Bare Bare Minerals Bare Minerals, and it's got like a little doe foot applicator. It's just tiny, it's like, like that big one from uh, what's it called Tarte. So I'm gonna do put that right here. Kind of in the middle, smile lines, just to kind of give it some, some light. And what I like to do is for under the eye, for under the eye, I like to use a brush. Yeah. So I'm going to take this little two for two concealer from a Mac and kind of really go and get it nice up against my eye. I like to do this because if you have wrinkles under your eyes, especially we do as mature skin, uh, you really want to get in there to pat it all out nicely with a brush. And then you can go in with your sponge and blend out the rest of it. But at least you know you have, you have, have it applied nicely under your eye. At least that's what works for me at my age. And then the same for the other eye. And again, take your sponge. And then you can do the rest of your face. I like the smell of this concealer. It smells nice. It's not overpowering. It just smells, smells, uh, I want to say clean. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, so now that we have the concealer and we have to set, I like the Lancome translucent powder and I like to use it right away. I'm gonna take my, I do like to use a sponge. I've tried using a brush to set it, to set under my eyes, but I feel that the, um, the little, the damp sponge really gets, gets everything sealed without some, a lot of creasing or cakiness. So, and you want to do that right away, even if you're going to move on to other things. You want to do that right away because otherwise it will crease, especially if you have, like me, wrinkles under the eyes. You don't want that 
to settle into those wrinkles you want to right away set it so now before i set the rest of my face i'm going to contour just a little bit and i'm going to use my matchstick uh, from fenty beauty and it's and i use the tone mocha i need to get something else but so far i am addicted to this I, it's like my ride or die i've been wanting to get like a contour palette so we'll see but for now i love this thing i'm gonna have to go get a new one i'm, I'm surprised i'm not out of it yet I'm just going to put it here. I mean, you can use a darker concealer if you don't have, if you don't have something like this. But I like the way I can just kind of take it like a, like a pen. <laughs> and then I'll take a little brush like this. And I don't swoop back and forth because I don't want to move my foundation. But I do want to blend it in and I'm blending up not down because you don't want to droop your face hide my second chin but this helps because as we age we get like this droopiness as well so using that's a trick using the contour it really helps hide that little droop that we get um, over time unless it's like instant plastic surgery so if you don't want a plastic surgery or you can't afford it that's this is a good way to, to do it <laughs> all right so now I can set the rest of my face and I'm going to use again my damp sponge for the rest of my face and I'm not gonna set it too much, just kind of around the nose, because this is already a matte formula, so I don't want to end up looking really crusty. <laughs> Which is why I'm also using a damp beauty blender instead of a um, instead of a brush. Can't think. And I will do it at my cheeks to make sure that I don't get any. Um, it doesn't skip and then it looks uh, smudged instead of nice and blended out the uh, your your bronzer and your um, your blush and there we go so that's all set so I set and I know I look really cakey but give just give it a moment <laughs> and then for bronzer I have the new Jouer this is the Jouer. I got well, the one for the lighter skin, light to medium bronzer, bronzer duo, which looks like so. I think I like it. I like this one a lot. I've already tried it. So I'm going to use the big Morphe brush, and this one is the R2. And I'm kind of going to dip it in both and kind of give my face some color again. So I like the Jouer bronzer, but it, you really have to kind of go in, dip into it several times. So if you don't like a strong bronzer, this is your bronzer. I kind of, I think I'm liking the Marc Jacobs one or the, for drugstore, I like, I love the Physician's Formula. This one is nice, but for daytime, I think, so that you don't have a heavy color. But right now I think it looks pretty, so we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Now for blush, where's my blush? Oh. For blush, I have this uh, Tarte, and it's the Amazon Amazonian Clay or something like that. And I've got the color, whoops, Seduce. I think it's a really cute little compact, and I'm gonna use it for travel. I think it's perfect. So I'm gonna take my, my angled Y4 brush, kind of dip that in there. I also washed all my brushes, so that could be also why it takes longer to, it's taking more to dip into it to get some pigmentation. I mean, you can't talk. Now remember, you don't want to go to in, especially again for mature skin, you don't want to go further in than two fingers for your blush. And I do go a little heavy handed because your face will eat the blush pretty fast there we go so now we can spray the face 
get uh, all those powders melted back into the skin make your face not look like cake face but actual skin so I'm going to use the MAC um, this is the prep and prime and now I'm going to make my silly face that I always do because I've noticed when I'm editing my videos I'm like oh my gosh it looks like I'm smelling something I'm smelling a fart or something <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> it's because it's like ah! <laughs> When I look like those other YouTubers that look like they're getting like sprayed so fancy like in the models or whatever or like the commercials but instead I'm like Ugh. I make my cake pancake face is what I call it <laughs> all right so now a four highlight and then we'll go in and finish the eyes and then we'll be done uh, well, the lips too of course um I got the new this well yeah I think it's kind of new yeah I think it's relatively new a couple weeks or so and it's called the lip kit by Laura Lee in Los, Laura Lee Los Angeles and it's the highlighter palette now I got the lighter the lighter for lighter skin version and it's really really nice and the price is really nice as well so I like that that's really cool that it's pretty affordable and I'm going to take this brush, my favorite one so far for highlighter. I need to try other ones, but this one is so far my favorite. The M510. I mean, why mess with success, right? So I'm going to go into Diamonds and Glow Gal. So I'm going to take these two, these two, and go in and highlight. Whoa. See? Nice. I like it. I want to be seen from space. <laughs> there we go. And then take a little bit more. Bad. You know what though? I know a lot of people don't use highlighter or they don't know about it or some people have said uh, that highlighters are overrated now. But honestly, it like, for me, I love... Not so much that it gives you that Instagram look, but more that it makes your skin look nice and healthy and glowy. So that's why I kind of am, I will admit, I'm a little addicted. <laughs> so I'm going to take, and then you could probably use these other colors for shadows. That'd probably be pretty cool. Even, uh, I'll try using it in the inner corner for this, the diamonds one. But as you can see, it's really pretty. And it kind of gives you that lip from within look. So I am liking it. Like it a lot. So I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on my cupid's bow and a little bit right there on the chin. Okay, good, but I'm glowy. I like it. <laughs> and it's always another tip is to always put on your highlighter after you spray your face. That way, even though it's dry, it has some of that tackiness, which is why you look you know, dewy and it melts all those powders in. But it also uh, allows you to apply your highlighter a lot more beaming and, you know, very cool. I wanna try the new Jaclyn Hill one. I know there's been a lot of controversy around those, but I definitely wanna give them a try, give her a try, you know, give her another chance, you never know, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, so let's finish the eyes and go to dinner. So for under the eye, I'm going to start off with, we're going to kind of go in the same order. All right, Ritual. I'm going to do Ritual and put it on the outside. Kind of connect it to the top part of my eye. But I'm just going to do the outside. Outer corner, I mean, of my, my uh, lid down here. So I'm going to get a little bit close so you guys can see. And then... I'm going to take this little brush and as you can see it's like really tiny it's tiny tiny and i'm just going to smudge that out a little bit so then i'm going to go into uh pop poet and I take that little one and again go on the outside and blend out that brown and then uh, on the in inner corner i'm going to take soothe the shimmer one with a metallic one and put that right here all the way into my tear duct kind of put them together same thing on the other side 
gosh, these are so pretty. And then take the metallic poet and put them between here to kind of marry them together. To marry the dark one with the lighter. And then I'm going to take a smaller, oh, I'm going to take a smaller fluffier brush like that and go in to soothe again, dust it off and just kind of blow everything up. We wanna we wanna hide those little those little uh the little wrinkles under the eye. And there we go. And then for eyeliner, I don't want to do anything too heavy. Too heavy, so I'm gonna go in with this oh, where is it? We're going with this like little it's got a little little pencil brush. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna take memory like so on little tippy tippy and go here right on the edge I'm not gonna go all the way in but I'm really gonna dig it into the lashes like so this is so this black is really nice you can even flick it out a little bit so it wings out and then uh, you can take the other side and kind of smudge that out just to give it nice a nice uh, a nice eyeliner on the out outside of your eye like so and you can see now our eyes are nice and like cat cat like and then for the inner corner I'm going to take the Laura Lee palette again and I'm going to go into diamonds and grab this little pencil brush and just kind of highlight the inner corner right here. Just give it some light. Make our eyes look a little bigger. Just like that. And then for the waterline, I'm taking, oh, this one's perfect because it's kind of like a burgundy color which kind of matches and it goes with the eyeshadow Ooh. and so now a little bit of mascara I don't have a new mascara but I'm gonna go in with this damn girl damn girl which has the, the mega brush I'm not gonna do lashes because we're not going anywhere fancy but we do want some color on our face and I'm going to use a different mascara for my lower lash line because that one is way too big all right so for my lower lash line I am going to use the roller lash from benefit so that is it for the face and now we're just going to line our lips and we're ready to go like I said, I don't want to do a, a lash because it's not super fancy and it's getting late. I got to get going. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm lining my lips with a strip down from MAC. Now our lips are lined and I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> new color. It's called Berry Victoria. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nude, nude pink. So, uh, it's a matte. I think it'll go beautiful with any skin tone. And then for gloss, I'm using the gloss balm from Fenty. This one, this color is Fenty Glow, and, they, and it smells amazing. Kind of. because I didn't want to go with the matte look. All right, and that's our look for date night. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.